Episode 3 Ellen Becciana? Hello, fellow nature appreciators. I'm back, on track, with my backpack. Now today, I have a quiz for you. Multiple choice. If I was to say to you the name Ellen Becciana, what would you say? Who's she or what's that? Now, here are the options. Is Ellen Becciana A, the name of the zoologist who brought to the world the fact that the dodo was extinct? Or is Ellen Becciana B, the name of the membrane that surrounds the pancreas of the humpback whale? Or is Ellen Becciana C, the name of a type of tree? Okay, you probably already looked it up by now. If you said C, the tree, I'd say no. I can't see the tree, that's the whole point of these videos. But if you did say, see the tree, you are absolutely correct. This tree, in fact. This is the Dracaena Ellen Beckiana, found predominantly in Africa, and various species of the Dracaena can be found in Central America, Southern Asia, and Australia. Now this particular tree, I need to talk to you about because there's some good news and there's some bad news. Now I like to give the bad news first, get it over and done with. The bad news is that there was a storm and this tree came off worse. It's now a horizontal palm tree. It's down. It was old and it was decaying and it was ready to go and it's down. The uh, good news though, is there? Could there be? Yes there could. There is good news because it means that I without sight, can have a much closer inspection and touch of all the intricate parts of the tree, particularly the top. Now, these are fronds. I know these are fronds because they litter the ground throughout the year. I pick them up and they make very good compost, but I didn't know about the structure of them and the way that they interact and layer on each other. So that is the Dracaena Ellen Beckiana. Brian? Yes? Are you sure that's an Ellen Beckiana? Well, sort of, but who's going to check? Special branch? Hmm, as long as it's not the Miller tree. <laughs> right then, taking a closer look at the tree, the palm tree, it's absolutely fascinating how these fronds grouped together, almost like making a rod of multiple layers. The other fact that I want to explore is can I propagate this tree? Now, if I take off some of these baby fronds and put this in some uh, compost well drained, I might well be able to produce future generations. Now, the only way I can do all this is because the tree is down. Now I can't go around the countryside saying I want to see the top of an oak tree, chop it down. I want to see the top of an elm tree, chop it down. So we need to find new solutions of how you show me the top of a tree. Thank you very much for listening. Talk to you next time. <laughs>